Hello, and welcome to my look at the Left Alive trailer from uh, the TGS release. Um, so uh, it's been quite a while since I uploaded any games videos to my channel. Um, and even uh, my design stuff's been pretty, pretty silent over the summer. So uh, apologies that it's been pretty dead here. But hey, we've got some front mission news. So of course, I'm going to talk about that, right? Um, so first of all, let's just like watch the trailer together. Then we'll kind of pick it apart and see what's up. Koshka, how's the battle going? The Garmonia army is advancing throughout Novoslava. Find a way to survive. That's been your only option since the beginning. I think I want to atone for something. What the hell is going on? Everyone said it wouldn't come to war. Official records confirm the death of condemned inmate D-105. You. There are only two things you're responsible for. Surviving and saving the civilians. I swear, I'll protect you. You goddamn narcissist! You can't save anyone! It's up to you to decide whether you'll do it or not. Run for your life! You never were anything more than a disposable tool for them. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and oops, here we go. Uh, let's let's take a look at this uh, bit by bit here. So looks like this. Uh, troop transport here is or sorry this uh this VTOL craft um is transporting a Vonza uh with it um another thing we see in this uh, opening is um uh there is something called the Garmonian army uh yeah and um what we do know about this game is that it takes place in sort of the remains of Zaftra, uh, which was one of the countries that exists in the Front Mission universe. So presumably Garmonia is like one of the successor states to Zaftra after the country collapsed. But that's, you know, obviously this is all speculation, but that's my guess because, you know, Garmonia is not a country that we see mentioned in the Front Mission universe um, up until this point, as far as I know. So uh, the game takes place in December 2127 uh, in a city, or I, I think it's probably a city. Uh, it doesn't say in the Japanese here, like there's no character for city. Um, so it's possible it's something else, but my guess is that this this is a city called Novoslava, uh, and twenty one twenty seven is um, six years after the final epilogue scene of Front Mission uh, Five, where we see um, uh, Walter Fung uh, and his daughter um, laying the reef at uh, Lynn's grave. Um, so this is after the death of um, Morgan Bernard uh, by, you know, like his destruction by Walter um, and the destruction of the S device. Um, so all, it, it is also after the events of Front Mission 3. Um, So this is the latest date we've seen in the Front Mission series, except for Front Mission Evolved. But whether like we should actually count that as canon or not is really uh, pretty out um, up to 
Well, it's in question, I guess I'd say. <laughs> like, is there anything meaningful we really need to take from Front Mission Evolve? Probably not. Um, okay, so here's one of the characters we see. Um, it's obviously quite upset about something. The city's in ruins. Some kind of major conflict. Um, find a way to survive. All right. And we, we see another one of the characters here. Um... This guy seems like he might be German. And this is maybe one of this is maybe the third character that we'll play as here. Because this is a game with three perspective characters, uh, kind of similar to Front Mission 2. So, um yeah, he says it would never come to war. So who's the war between? Well, we know, like, one of the participants in uh, the war is probably Garmonia. But is that the only participant? Is the EC maybe involved in the war? Who knows? Um, that is, like, the equivalent of the European Union in the Front Mission universe. Um, and traditionally has... Or I shouldn't say traditionally, but uh, in Front Mission 4 was in conflict with Zaftra um, over a resource crisis. So we can look maybe a little bit here at this emblem uh, on his shoulder. It's kind of indistinct. Not really sure what's going on there. Yeah, so she seems to obviously be one of the other characters. It looks like she's in a uh, uniform that is distinct from the other uh, the other characters that we see. Uh, so maybe she's from a different country. Like one of them is from Garmonia, the other one's from a different country. Um, and then uh, this dude is apparently like some kind of ex-criminal or something. Um, and a supposedly dead Snake Plissken type character. So humanity has learned nothing from its mistakes. This is probably the most interesting thing that um, we see in this trailer, actually. Uh, in one sense, this is very reminiscent of the intro to Front Mission 3. Um, there's a very similar statement that we see there. Um, and that is kind of like ambiguous in what it means um, in Front Mission 3. Like, I guess it, it's about what, you know, humanity has come up with this amazing new source of energy, but all we can use it for is like basically nuclear weapons. That's kind of what we get in Front Mission 3. Um, or, you know, maybe it's uh, the... Like, the Japanese nation has learned nothing from its previous, like, disastrous flirtations of nationalism, right? Because you have that nationalist coup that happens in Japan in uh, Front Mission 3. Um, yeah, um, it's, it's... Or it could be just, like, you know, sort of tampering with, with genetic material. Maybe that's a mistake that humanity hasn't learned from in, in Front Mission 3. But in here... It's kind of like, what is it? Is it just, you know, despite um, the end of Mer Morgan Bernard's terrorism, uh, despite the end of um, the crises he provoked, uh, despite the end of um, a lot of the inter super state conflicts um humanity has learned nothing from its mistakes is it just humanity hasn't really gotten over war or is it possible that we might see a return of say the b device which has traditionally been kind of connected to zaftra right um this was the device that morgan bernard developed uh, to allow a human brain to function as uh, a computer for, uh, like a piloting computer for, for Mecha, for Vonzo's, uh, or possibly even the S device. Um, 
wheat which was the 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 core um device that uh we found at the center of front mission five um which was morgan bernard's like true project to upload human consciousness into a control system uh that could be um basically downloaded into different bodies um i i think it's kind of unlikely we will see a return of the fenrir system um which was at the core of uh front mission 2 story uh which was about um satellite control of um uh automata uh like a like automatic like drone piloted bonzers right um so it was something that was developed uh, between Bernard and the OCU, uh, but then which he got control of and only through the actions of the protagonists of Front Mission 2 was he stopped. But then he later regained control of that technology and used it in Front Mission 5 combined with the S device to sort of hop around between different bodies and become this kind of like disembodied terrorist force that was threatening the world that uh walter fung managed to stop and then in front mission evolved we saw the fenrir device come back again so because it came back in front mission evolved like i don't really think we're gonna see it in this game because that would like be what three games that have made you no front mission 2 front mission 5 front mission evolved and then left alive are they all going to use the fenrir device i kind of don't think so um so possibly the b device might show up again that's a guess possibly the s device although maybe not like that's we don't really see any like indication that bernard is hanging around uh we um and it, it seems unlikely that just like six years after the end of front mission five um the s device is going to become a major plot point again so I, I'm guessing maybe we'll see the B device come back or possibly uh, this is just about war, right? Who knows? But there's always some kind of um, like techno thriller slash like body horror slash um, just kind of a... Uh, cautionary science fiction angle to front mission so i don't think it's just a conflict between some countries in the city uh all right so you've got two duties oh uh yeah so we saw a vonzo there that's that's interesting we should check that out i'm thinking this is actually a new model uh one that we haven't seen previously in the series but it's a little bit hard to tell from the rear And yeah, survive and protect the civilians. So protecting civilians is going to be a big part of this game, it seems like. Okay, so here we can see a Zenith in the background, right? Um, uh, so Zenith's going to be in the game, for sure. Uh, not really clear what this massive re uh, rubble is here. And then there we have, like, looks like a new model of the Whisk. Um, Vonzer, as far as I can tell, so that is, if I remember correctly, a German manufactured Vonzer, and the the um, the Zenith is, of course, a uh, Australian uh, manufactured Vonzer. So um, maybe the like micro states, successor states of Zaftra, are receiving um arms sales from various super states around the world uh or maybe the ec is invading this place which is why we had a character with a german accent in the trailer and why we see um we see an ec uh mecca or vonzer in this 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 part here who knows um and then we have this kind of new model here it looks reminiscent of kind of like 
Ooh. Oh, what model is that? Not the Zenith. The... Hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a really. I'll have to think about that. Cause there's there is definitely a Vonzer that looks similar to this one. That's just at the tip of my tongue, and I can't remember what it is at the moment. So it looks like she's getting orders from somebody. This is maybe a villain or something. The struggle for survival. So some kind of crisis in this city that requires people to survive. Oh, there's a there's a patch there. Let's see what it says. Looks like it's kind of illegible, isn't it? But it definitely looks like he's part of some kind of military unit. And yeah, she's got a different insignia on her arm. So they're definitely part of some kind of different unit. All right. So yeah. Doesn't tell us a whole lot. Um... We can obviously see that some classic Vonzers are returning. Um, yeah, I wonder if that Vonzer looks a little bit like an Enyo. That might be one of the inspirations for the design. But I think that is a new one. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I, I may be wrong about that. So, yeah. new Vons, um, Possibly new Vonzers uh, in the game. Definitely some classic models returning. Um, some new states, probably successor states of Zaftra, uh, and possible involvement of the EC, it sounds like, right? EC Germany may be involved somehow. Um, and what else? Uh, maybe there's some kind of callback to one of the classic sort of, um, threat technologies or or black technologies um, that uh, were prominent in the earlier games or maybe it's just talking about the inability of human beings to stop fighting wars um, those are my general thoughts uh, I am looking forward to this game you know it's coming up pretty soon um, so definitely uh, look for um look for some videos of me playing this game uh, come February next year uh, because I will probably do a playthrough on this channel. Um, given that this is a new front mission game, can you believe it? <laughs> I, I just hope there's like, a, I mean, obviously we're getting callbacks to the, the universe in the form of the Vonzers, but I, I want to see some of the meta plot from front mission drawn into this game like i want to see some mention about president walter fung right <laughs> i want to see um you know i want to see like uh well i guess he wouldn't necessarily have made it to president yet if it's just six years after the end of that of front mission five but yeah i want to see some mention of walter in this game i want to see um you know some callbacks to Front Mission 4 when the EC was fighting Zaftra. Um, I want to see some mention of, like, the collapse of the OCU. Um, yeah, let's get cool stuff like that. Um, obviously, the focus of the game is going to be on these three characters. This is, like, a, you know, a third-person shooter or something. Um, so it's going to be very much focused on that. But, like, give us some lore documents. Give us some mentions about what else is going on in the world. Um, that's what I'm really hoping for because yeah, like I'm excited by the prospect of a game in this universe. I'm excited by the prospect of getting to, you know, drive around in a 
in a frost or in a, well it doesn't look like we're going to see many usn mechs but who knows maybe a frost or a zenith or something cool like that um and uh that's all cool uh but i definitely want to see some continuity with the, the front mission the front mission franchise uh and hopefully that will lead down the road to some more uh variety of games um in that universe such as um, turn-based uh, strategy games or real-time strategy games or something, you know, um, not just shooters. So that's my thoughts. Uh, what do you think about the game? Let me know. Um, I'm interested to hear what you have to say. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to February. And I, I will see you around.